Today along Frederick Avenue, a makeshift memorial at the scene of Tuesday's horrific bus crash. People stopped to sign messages as traffic once more flowed normally. Six people died in the crash when a yellow school bus first hit a car, then kept going at least 520 feet. It slammed into an MTA bus heading in the opposite direction. It was the number 10 bus, a popular line between Catonsville and Dundalk. The investigation focuses on the 67-year-old driver of the school bus among those who died. Police say it will take weeks for an autopsy to lend any clue about a possible medical problem. A key witness is the woman who was also on board the school bus. She was not seriously injured. What seems obvious, the rate of speed. It's pretty safe to say that the vehicle was going at a pretty good rate of speed. Um, and once again, Jane, if you saw that destruction, it certainly wasn't caused by a slow moving vehicle. The police spokesman today said city police will likely determine the cause. But that is the charge of the federal NTSB now involved in the investigation. Their work will also look at broader safety issues. The mayor said she welcomes their work. Uh, when I took a look at the condition of the bus, I think there's some significant questions about survivability of a car cr of a bus crash. The way that the bus was crushed, it just um, it looked like it was just blown to bits like matchsticks. Uh, so my hope is that something positive comes from this enormous tragedy, and maybe it's them taking a look at safety standards for our buses. Better protection for bus passengers already on the list of NTSB's most wanted safety improvements. The school bus involved in this crash, according to the MVA, is a relatively new model built in 2014. The MVA says it last inspected it in August. No problems found. The driver of that school bus, Glenn Chappelle, according to electronic court records, has been cited a number of times for traffic violations, but none appears to be a serious moving violation. One final note, just an example of how this story has so resonated with people in Baltimore. As I look behind me along Frederick Avenue, I see all these people now parking along Frederick Avenue, not because there are houses to go to, but the crash scene is down there and that makeshift memorial, which keeps growing. Reporting live tonight from Southwest Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.